My name is Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. The universe right now is expanding, and it's been expanding its entire life. And it looks like it will continue to expand for the rest of its life. And en route from the beginning until now, the universe made stars and galaxies and black holes and planets and comets and asteroids. And in there, there's dark matter. And we don't know what that is, but it's responsible for most of the gravity of the universe. Shouldn't really call it dark matter. That implies we know that it's matter. What it literally is, is dark gravity. Got plenty of that. We don't know where that came from, what's causing it. But the universe, upon being born, evolved all of its constituent objects. And right now, uh, we live in a vibrant universe, very different from the beginning, and it's very different from how it will end. But the universe spent most of its time looking like what it does now, thus far. There's a mysterious pressure in the vacuum of space that is forcing the expanding universe to accelerate. And this is an action opposite the trends of gravity. If you add up all the gravity of all the stars and all the galaxies, it should slow down the expansion. And possibly bring it back, we wouldn't have to though. When we look out at the expansion, we find the expansion accelerating. And we give a name to this, and we call it dark energy. But we don't know what it is. So I'm trying to start a movement where we call dark matter and dark energy Fred and Wilma, just so that you have no bias in thinking of what it might be, because we really don't know what they are. One of the great mysteries of modern astrophysics.